Hi everyone. Now we will see how we can make for loop inside Angular template file. So see, template file is basically HTML file of a component. Here we will see how we can make a basic for loop and how we can apply for loop over array of object and lots of things we will see in this part. So first of all, we will make a basic array of users. There we have only names of some users and we will see how we can use or how we can apply for loop over this array. After that, we will take array of object and we will see how we can make for loop over array of object. We'll see how we can generate unique ID and we'll also check how we can make buttons and click event inside a uh, for loop. And at last we'll discuss some important interview questions related to the loops in Angular. Alright, so let's move on the code. So first of all, let me uh, create a basic array and its name is users. So I have some users inside this array, let's say Anil, which is my name, then maybe Sam, after that Peter, then maybe you can take some more Bruce and Tony. So how we can apply a for loop over it inside the template means HTML file. So see uh, to display if you want to display items of array you have two options. First one you can use loop. Second one you can use the single element. For example so let's make h1 tag inside this define users array and inside this put the index let's say 0 if you will put 0 then we will see uh, the first element is visible there right and then now let's say you want to show the rest elements rest of the elements first second and third then they are also visible there right but this is not a correct way to display the elements of array because right now we have only fi uh, five elements but maybe you have 10 100 or thousands of objects and uh, thousands of users then how you will handle this so for that we can simply make a loop which is for and inside this first let's take a variable or you can say that uh, iteratable variable for there and which is student and th this will be variable of uh, let's take as user not student uh, user and this is a variable of uh, users array you can say that right and this is users array is coming from this file all right and after that you have to define one more thing which is very important track so let me show you track and track will be uh, you can say that user there that means this is a uh, iteratable thing and after that let's take h2 or any element whatever you want to put there maybe you can take single h1 and maybe you can take a uh, div and inside this h1 or h2 element whatever you want to take and then simply put there user and after that you will see all elements are visible there right so if i will just hidden there is a no element so this is coming from there only we know that all right Okay, so this is a simple thing, but let's say you have a little bit complex uh, array with the object. So maybe its name is students like this and here we have array and inside this we have some objects. Maybe name is again Anil and then maybe age is let's say uh, 29, then maybe um, email is let's say anil at test.com right and similarly we have some other objects also for Sam Peter and maybe Bruce and you can change the email ID according to that Bruce and let's change some thing in age also 26 and then let's say 43 or something right so now I want to show a loop over this array of object right what we what is the array of object when we have an array and inside this we have some object so we can say that this is the array of objects okay so for that again you have to take a for loop yep and then again take a variable student because there we mentioned their students student of which property uh, students right and again you have to define the track and track you can take anything let's say user student student dot name and inside this same thing we can do uh, just take h2 tag and double curly braces or you can say that interpolation then student but student is basically object there right then you have to put the name here we go and to uh, make some difference in both of them, I'm using their HR. HR will just give a line there, right? This. 
and similarly so let's say you want to give some span or maybe you want to give some multiple information with the name age and email ids then you can say that each age and email id or something so you'll get all the details there uh, i'm not putting so much css there not even single uh, line of css because this is about angular not about the css all right okay so the next thing is let's say you have button also there right and on the button uh, get name you have to get the username then how you can get that let me create a function there for this get name and then let's say you can say that log and log would be whatever we will get there name and it should be string only and let's put their name again back okay so we have to call this function on the button click so let's define a click event there and there we can say that get name and inside this let's pass there student dot name like this right so here we get this okay so here you can see this you, you can see that we are getting the uh, names also perfectly working fine great so now what is the next thing let's say you want to get a unique id for all of these arrays then how you can do that put the comma there and simply use uh, maybe you can put their id and it should be come from dollar index now if you will use uh, let me take one more span uh, double curly braces then id then you will see that okay let me see okay so we it should be a variable right so now you can see that we are getting the unique ids 0 1 2 3 4 uh, 3 then let's say you want to just add one you want to start it from one then you can say that you just make you can there put a plus one and this is increased so this is how we can get unique id button click event interview question so uh, they can just ask the syntax of the for loop then one more thing so they can say that can we use ng4 in the angular 19 or like angular 18 you can say that no uh, we can use uh, ng in the previous versions like angular 11 12 13 14 but in latest version like angular 19 and 18 we cannot we have to use for directory there how we can use the unique id that can also be asked in interview question we learn that right so that's all for this part please like this video subscribe my channel you can put the comment and this is my paytm and gpay donation number thanks guys